CD Cal5 deficiency disorder or CDD is a severe neurodevelopmental disorder. It's characterized by uh, intellectual disability and most of all seizures in, in, in a lot of patients. Um, it manifests already in young children, primarily girls, and it has a lifelong impact on the patients and most of all also, also on the families since the patients never learn really how to function, function on their own. Um, the, the currently available therapies are really only helping to ameliorate some of the symptoms um, sometimes the seizures become uh, less and less controllable uh, the older the patients get. And so none of those therapies really address the causative genetic defect underlying this disease. Um, and, and this genetic defect is really is mutations in CDKL5 and the CDKL5 gene, um, which is basically either uh, in, um, uh, abrogating the function, the, the proper function of CDKL5, or in many cases preventing any expression of CDKL5. Five uh, in the brain, and we think it's primarily the brain uh, CDKL5, which which is the problem here. And so that that's why um, gene replacement therapy. Um, it is thought to dramatically improve, improve symptoms. So that means basically re-expressing CDKL5 in, in, in the brain, which is void of CDKL5 protein. Um, this has been tested in mice and in, in, in mouse models for the disease. And in and, and a recent publication suggests that uh, that improvement of symptoms could be could be even expected in in in, in, in young adult in young adult mice. Um, so we, we are not really stuck to, to treating, treating newborns or, or babies here. And so we would also expect an older patient still a benefit. So the gene therapy uh, has been focused on by various academic labs in, in the U.S., um, mostly by the gene therapy program at, at, at the University of Pennsylvania. And in Europe, um, there's the labs of uh, the Chiani lab and the Mazarakis labs, for example, as well as also by uh, by a small uh, smallish uh, pharmaceutical company called Atrogenics, and there might be other uh, commercial programs in, in development right now. Um, there's other um, exploratory strategies uh, being pursued right now. So CDKL5 deficiency disorder is an X-linked disorder. Um, there's potentially uh, a, a, a way to reactivate the silenced um, CDKL5 on the silenced X chromosome. And that, that is something groups at UC Davis in California work on right now. Um, all those efforts are really aided uh, majorly by, by various research foundations. Uh, I think the most prominent one is the Lulu for, uh, Foundation for CDKL5 deficiency disorder research to really help to better understand the disease. And But there's also most recently uh, has been announced there's a large natural history consortium uh, supported by, I think, about seven different pharma companies to uh, get a much better idea on, on, on how the disease develops uh, in, in, in patients. And so I think, I mean, we're in a really good place here with so many activities taking place um, and supporting, supporting the, the, the new therapeutic avenues. Mm -hmm.